Are you having issues with blurry photos on that brand new camera you just bought? Well, many people don't know there is a right way as well as many, many wrong ways to press your shutter button. So in this shutter button 101 video, I'm gonna show you guys how to properly press your shutter button so you're getting tack sharp, crisp photos with every single shot. Let's get right into it. Like I was saying, many people don't know that there is a proper way to press your shutter button. And I see this a lot of times with new photographers and some very experienced photographers. They don't know how to properly press their shutter button and that's leading to a lot of blurry photos and missed moments and opportunities. And when you're in the moment and you're trying to get that great shot, you don't wanna miss it because you didn't press your shutter button the right way. I see a lot of people slapping their shutter button. They like to take their finger way off the shutter button and you'll see they slap it around. Not only are you losing time in between when your finger is from up here, coming all the way down here, you've already lost milliseconds worth of time that could be you know, going towards capturing the moment, but you're also introducing a lot of camera shake, and I'm exaggerating this a little bit, but when you're shooting slower shutter speeds, you're introducing a lot of shake into the end of your lens. And that can be extremely frustrating when you get back and you realize all of your best moments are just blurry and that really stinks. So let's get into how to properly press that shutter button. So you wanna make sure that you have a nice firm grasp on your camera. You wanna have a nice grasp on the grip of your camera. If your hand is too large for your camera body, your pinky might have to sit underneath, but you wanna have that camera nice and firmly gripped. Next thing you're gonna to wanna to do is take your finger and you don't wanna press your shutter button with the tip of your finger. You don't wanna be poking down at the shutter button. You wanna lay your finger across the button just like this and you can have your finger out here like this if you have smaller hands or if you have larger hands like me. I actually press the shutter button almost with the middle of my finger here. That way I have my finger supported on the camera with the tip of my finger that way if I have to squeeze my camera or I'm moving my camera around, I'm not accidentally pressing the shutter button and taking random photos burning through my memory by squeezing the camera on accident. Happens to everybody, but this is one quick way to avoid it. So what I'm gonna do, instead of smashing the button, I'm gonna do a nice squeeze and slowly squeeze the camera. If you look closely, you can't even see that I'm taking photos. I'm just doing a nice, controlled squeeze of my pointer finger. And once you learn to master how to press your shutter button properly and hold your camera steadily, you can take tons of photos at extremely low shutter speeds. I can easily take a photo at a sixth of a second, turn this down to a sixth of a second, And that photo comes out tack sharp because I'm properly holding the camera, which I will have a video on coming soon, and I'm properly pressing the shutter button so I'm not adding that extra shake to the lens, to the sensor, and ultimately to my image. So each and every shot is tack sharp and I won't have to worry about those blurry photos anymore. So be sure you're properly pressing your shutter button and you're gonna see a massive improvement in the quality of your photos. So if you enjoyed this video and you learned something, be sure to hit that like button, hit the subscribe button for my whole Photography 101 series that I'll have linked down in the description and at the end of this video. And that is all for this video. Make sure you're out practicing your photography techniques so you're getting the best possible images. So until next time, get out and go shoot.